Okay, so this is a brief video walking through the uh, Unix commands and VS Code for Financial Computing 2 Homework 1. Um, if you're not too familiar with Unix or Linux yet, hopefully this will be of some help. I have launched my Ubuntu terminal, and here's my prompt. Now, the first thing that you always want to make sure of when you start an Ubuntu session or when you return to an Ubuntu terminal from having left it, you know, in some uh, uh, maybe undefined state at some point, uh, you can use the cd command, the change directory command, to return to your home directory so that you're always starting out from your so-called home directory and the pwd command print working directory will confirm for you that you are now in your home directory the ls command will list the files and directories found there and currently i only have my fc2 directory i'm going to cd into fc2 and in here i have prog1 from the first little example program, the Hello World program that we created before, I'm going to make a new directory called hw1 for my homework1 work. And if I do another ls, I should see that I now have hw1 in there. I can change directory into hw1 and use ls to confirm that this directory is empty. All right, so I'm in the HW1 directory. The directory is currently empty. Now I have already downloaded and unzipped the span file that we need for homework one part one. In a Unix environment or Linux environment, all of the disks that are available to your machine are mounted together mounted is uh you know like uh sort of vaguely like linking or whatever um into a single directory hierarchy so in a unix or linux system we don't directly have a c drive a d drive an a drive if you have an ancient floppy disk <laughs> uh, and so on but my windows c drive is accessible to me under the directory name slash mnt slash c. So all of my Windows C drive stuff is available in that directory. And I can use the copy command to get a file from my Windows file system. So I'm going to say copy from slash mount slash c. Now from that point on, everything is as though it's in ordinary Windows 10. And I'll say users, J. Ostland. Now, um, you only have to type the first character or two or three of a directory name, and you can press the tab to do file name or directory name completion. Obviously, you're going to need to replace J. Ostland with your account name. The download that I did was into my downloads directory, so I'm going to press capital D-O-W and then press tab to fill out the download. And the name of the file is cme something. I'll go ahead and press tab. Now, I actually have some older span files in my downloads directory, so the autocomplete was only able to go out to 202. I'm going to have to type in... Uh, 1 for 2021, and 01 for January of 2021. Now, I think I only have one span file from January of 2021, so I'll try hitting tab again. There we go. So there is my span file for January 15th of 2021. And the place that I want to copy that file to is my current directory. So I can specify dot as the place that I want to copy that file to. When I hit the Enter key, it's almost instant. 
Okay, so the copy is finished, and now if I type ls, I see that that file is there. I can use more to display any text file. All right, so I said more and type CME and hit the tab. And when I hit the Enter key, there it is, the familiar format that we saw when we were learning Python. And this goes on and on and on. And you can see that uh, I've gone through about five pages, but more is telling me that I have still not even seen 1% of the entire file yet. Each time I tap spacebar, I'll get another page worth of stuff. Eventually, I'm going to get sick of looking at this. And I can either press little Q to quit from more. So let me use little Q. I'll just press little Q. There we go. And so now I'm back to my prompt. Um, let me use up arrow to recall that more command and execute it again with enter. All right. And if you forget that you can use little Q to quit from more, you can also press control C, which will kill the more program. Okay. So those are two ways of getting out of more. Well, now that I've got my span file in here, I would like to run Visual Studio Code to create a program to read this file and create a new file. And the way I do that is to say code and a space, and then the directory in which I want to create my program. Now, in this case, I'm actually in the HW1 directory. So I can say code space dot. OK, don't forget that. Don't forget that dot. If you just say code, and hit enter with no uh, directory name, then code will just start running and not necessarily be associated with the directory that you want. So I'm going to say code space dot and I have Visual Studio Code running now. And I can see that currently the only file that's in this directory is the span file, CME.2021.0115, blah, blah. And so at this point, just like we showed for the everybody's first program example, you can add the source code file, hw1.1.cpp, write a trivial little main program in it just for testing purposes, save that file, and then compile and execute the file from within your Ubuntu terminal.